Well, hi there, everyone in Internet Land, and welcome back to the Sob TV Singer Songwriter Series. We're just now we had an earlier segment. Uh, we're, this is the second segment. We had an earlier first segment. We had a FGL Bart Long interviewing an upcoming singer songwriter Brian Pereira. Uh, I'm Trappers Django, and I'm uh, standing in for a very good friend Peter Hoffrich, who couldn't be here today. Well, I'm very, very excited because I've got a cool, exciting band, and they have a Russian name, very cool Russian name. It's my proud and privilege to give you this band, and the name is Babushka. Take it away, guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
Whoa. Awesome, guys. Awesome. You guys rock in my... Whoa, really, really, really. That took... The, I, I just like to say that this song actually took my breath away with the minute you guys came in and played. And, and for the... For the viewers in Thailand, I'd just like to know uh, what's the name of that song. You know, anyone could just pick up the mic. Uh, like to know? Okay, the song is actually called Louvre. Yeah, it's actually based on France, you know. Like, okay, the, the member of our band, right, uh, Olivia here. Yeah, she, she actually came back from France, you know, like she, she went there to, for her studies and stuff, you know. So when she came back, we just, we just wrote the song in like, Probably like no time at all, you know, like maybe less than five minutes. We just we just do it, yeah. And we decided to call it Loof. Yeah. Five minutes, you know, that's rock and roll style writing. You know. <laughs> wow, you really guys are cool. Five minutes, you get you, you know, write the song down. Wow. So okay, and uh, first things first, and uh, the name Babushka. How did you guys get that name? Okay, I gotta pass the mic to Don for that. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Don. Make some. Little, little Uh, it's basically it's something that that just really sounds nice. I think um, first and foremost, that's that's what really uh, attracted us to the name. Um, actually, there's an interesting story how we came to choose that name. Uh, the band started two years ago, and before our first gig, we didn't have a name. You know, it, 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 it happens, that, happens. That, that happens. So, so we were trying to figure out what to call ourselves. And at that point in time, um, we were, um, in our regular set, we were doing a, a cover of a Steve Vai song. Steve Vai of song. that name, Babushka. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, because Steve Vai, I mean, um, Fauzo is a huge disciple of Steve Vai. Uh, so we decided to cover that, that tune, which is an instrumental tune, which is what we do anyway. And uh, so while we're trying to figure out a title, I mean, a, uh, sorry, a band name. You know, we just decided, hey, that, that sounds great. Why don't we just use it? Use it. Yeah. Just Babushka. Yep. Because, if you, because by right, Babushka in Russia means grandma. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think there's also a name of a Kate Bush song. I don't know whether you know anybody. Yeah, but that's spelled differently. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> the, the spelling's a bit different, mm -hmm. Babushka. Really. Yeah. So, so you, you, just, you just went and took that name from a Steve Vai song. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, so are you going to perform that Steve Vai cover in the in the set today? No. <laughs> well, these days we're kind of focused on originals. More well, originals, yeah. yes, correct. Yeah. Yes, cool, cool happening. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. Then uh, I was wondering uh, how actually how did you guys met? How you guys actually met up? Well, it began with um, with Fauzo. You know, okay. he was kind of the the guy who started it all and. <clears throat> I met Fauzo through um, this event, this uh, arts event that we regularly attend called the Spore Art Salon. Uh, and, you know, uh, he was performing as a solo act, but one day he decided to, to try to rope in additional musicians to try to make his sound fuller. So, well, you know, I didn't know him before, before the, um, at attending those arts events. We met there and he just roped me in. And uh, Sophia as well. Yeah, so it it really started out that way. Okay, uh, okay, that's nice. So how about I think how about if you know for everyone in internet land, how about you introduce yourselves, you know mm -hmm. one by one, you know, don't we really be cool? Okay, yeah. right. Yeah. Hi everyone. Um, I'm Don. I play the guitar and um, like to mess around with a couple of effects while I'm playing. So. Hi everyone, I'm Olivia. So um, I'm actually the newest member of the group. Um, I've been playing um, concerts in France, experimental, improvisatory kind of concerts. And um, I actually met somebody who um, stayed in Singapore for a while, and he introduced me to Faisal. So like <laughs> that's how I ended up joining the group. Hello everyone, so I'm Sophia. I've been playing the keyboard and the piano uh, ever since I can remember. So I've been playing uh, classical music, uh, which is great, which I'm also into original composition, which I find it's very liberating and uh, it's really connect to me when I can join this group because we all write original songs. So that's actually a platform for me to sort of 
you know, playing originals together with the rest of the bands and create something that we all really like and enjoy listening to and enjoy playing. All right, okay, guys, uh, I'm Fauzo. I'm actually the one who forms the band somewhat, yeah. <laughs> so actually, like, you, you somehow get to know me through them, yeah. So this is, this is like, a creation of mine with, uh, like, if a lot of people help, uh. Yeah, and we, we decided to, like, go further with what we have. Yeah, currently, we have a good thing together, and we want to go further with it, yeah. Okay, so I uh, just want uh, so how to how many songs you guys are gonna do today actually? For, because you did one already, so how many more are you gonna do perform later? Okay, the next song that we're gonna do is a luxury apartment. Okay, this song is actually based in Singapore. Yeah, it's a place that we all love so much. Yeah, we always have a meeting there, you know. And Singapore is yeah, it's a luxury place. I mean, in my opinion, yeah. So the next song is called Luxury Apartment. Luxury Apartment. It, uh, and any any special story behind that? Just the place in Singapore. Okay, uh, okay maybe Don, you got you got some special story you wanna say? Um, no, no, not really. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, Luxury Apartment is uh, a tune that actually began as a chord progression that Fauzo came up with. Uh, he was he was just you know playing it after a gig, uh, and I listened to it. And I thought, wow, this is really nice, really cool jazzy chords. Because I, I actually am more of a yeah rock music kind of person and straightforward power chords yeah. and stuff. So uh, when when I heard Fauzo playing those jazzy chords, I was like, wow, that sounds really complex and and really nice. Let me try to come up with a melody to go over it. So I recorded the chord progression and then I went home, I listened to it, I kept listen, listening to it over and over again. And I tried, eventually figured out a, a guitar melody to go over it. it. It's not that easy because I think the, you know, jazz is just really, um, the, it's really complex. So it's, yeah, because <laughs> yeah. jazz sometimes I mean, especially three thousand chords, you know. Yeah, ex yeah, especially <laughs> coming like from from a rock background to try to to write a jazz melody is was pretty challenging. But yeah, this is what I came up with. Okay, so uh, that's gonna be your second song, and uh, and how and how and how did uh, Sophia and Olivia add it to it, add to the song? Well, the songwriting process for um, in Babushka is it's always sort of the same it starts with just one idea um, it can come from any of us and the rest of us just build on it you know so in this case uh, Fauzo came up with the the core of the song I added a melody on top of it and then we just jam it in the studio and the rest just fill in their parts yeah, everything all yeah. fell into place like a jigsaw puzzle yeah, wow. yeah that's how we do it that's how we roll okay all right so I think we can go for the second song how do I, how, what's, how, what's what's pronounced again? Uh, luxury apartment. Luxury apartment. Okay, everybody. This is luxury apartment, and once again, babushka. <laughs>
awesome, cool, cool. That was a cool jazzy piece, luxury apartment. And that's from the band here, Babushka, on the second segment of a Soft TV songwriter series. I'm Trappers Django. As you know, we're in the studio with Babushka, as I said again. Cool Russian sounding name, named after a Steve Vai song. Wow. Okay, so uh, next question, guys. Um, now that you guys have been together for, what, two years just now, as you said, so I'd just like to ask you guys, um, before you guys met each other, uh, you know, what, where were you playing before? Were you playing other bands before? You know, maybe we can start with you, Don. Right. Yeah. Um, I've uh, I've played in two other bands before, Babushka. Um, but I would actually more accurately say I've jammed with two other bands. Jammed with two other bands. <laughs> because I think of those two bands, between those two bands, we only did one gig. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was the kind of thing where you know we we just um, performed. Um, sorry, we, we kept rehearsing and practicing and jamming. And then you only got to one, do one gig. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of, it lost steam after a while. Yeah, yeah that sort of momentum thing. was gone. And, and, and may I yeah. ask, what type of band was that? Was it your normal rock band? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, they were, they, were both, they were both rock bands, kind of alternative, indie kind of uh, stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the, actually the, the kind of music that I, I tend to listen to more. Okay. Uh, I actually don't really listen to the kind of music that I, I do with Babushka. That's an interesting yeah, thing. But, but, but what turned you on to, you know, to do the music like Babushka? You know? What turned you on? I think what uh, I, I found really special about this band is that all of us come with very different influences. And n I don't think any of us individually listen to this kind of music or make this kind of music on our own. But it's kind of a uh, middle ground uh, yeah, uh, you know, for all of us. And I think that, that helps because uh, I think sometimes if you get four people people in a band, four or five people in a band trying to make the same kind of music, you, you know, it's, it's easier for people to get very precious and, you know, for egos to, to get in the way. Like, oh, you know, this, our sound must be exactly like this rock band. No, it must sound like that rock band and so on. Cool. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what happened in my last two oh, bands. Okay, <laughs> yeah. all right. All right, yeah. then we can maybe pass to Olivia. Uh, sorry, I, I, did I pronounce your name correctly? Olivia. Okay, so can you tell me your influences maybe? Well, um, I come from a very classical background. I've been playing the violin since I was six. Okay. And um, I used to play in, um, you know, in ensembles and orchestras. So, you know, very classical background. And um, in uh, 2012, I studied in New York. Okay, wow. Um, for my for an exchange. Okay. And um, I actually learned um, improvisation and experimental music from some really great experts in my university. Okay. <laughs> so ever since then, I've been... I've been um, playing more improvised kind of music. Okay. Yeah. So, but let me ask you one question. Is Nigel sure. Kennedy your hero? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> okay. classical music for violin, I always think Nigel Kennedy. Because uh, there are other great classical violinists out there. But yeah, Nigel Kennedy is not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, <laughs> why, because he's, uh, he's the kind of the guy who took, uh, how would you say, uh, classical music to the masses because he dressed That's differently. He, he keep, you know, normally everything. That's very true. Yeah, very true. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well done. Uh, Thanks. Can, can, can we go next to Sophia? Can you tell your influences? Sure. My influences. Yes. Um, um, okay, so I, I listen to all sort of music. Uh, I like electronic, electronic music and uh, new age music. So I draw my influence from everywhere. But when I create songs uh, like, you know, Fazo and Don have said, our songs are influenced by our travel. So... We draw inspiration from places that we've been to and capture the essence of it and trying to, you know, kind of translate that into musical notes. Um, so, well, back to the question of what I've played before. So I, play, I played with a band uh, called The Lost Head for five years. So <laughs> the band have go through all the, you know, like highs and lows Okay. Uh, so uh, that band was playing experimental, gypsy kind of music. Uh, we also do some travel show and then okay. play in Singapore, which was is was it something like Gypsy Kings, uh, so that type of music? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, was was a great experience. Uh, but one day I decided to uh, move on. So <laughs> yes, the the gypsy thing ran its course. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so I still sometimes playing with a band, but uh, now my focus is really to develop and mm-hmm. create more music with with this with, band. With Babushka. Yeah, with Babushka. With this band, with this cool yes. band. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And the last and only, Mr. Fazio, we know that you're a Steve Vai <laughs> disciple, so what other influences you got? Okay, yeah, uh, honestly, it's like I, I do listen to all sorts of music, uh, all types, you know, like I listen to One Direction, I like I like One Direction, I like them. Okay. I listen to like Skrillex, I love Skrillex a lot. I think he's, I mean, he does something like he actually like, I felt Skrillex like kill the music, you know, like, he he doesn't like play by the you know like the the tau gay or stuff like that you know the yeah he just do something totally all different and I'm very fascinated by Skrillex you know and yeah there are so many other bands like um even like a lot of pop bands uh, actually nowadays I listen to pop a lot oh, yeah almost see why yes oh I guess it's like it's a phase you know like when I was young I, I was learning guitar I was practicing like twelve hours a day maybe eight okay. hours a day I uh, I was uh, listening to Steve Vai but. Yeah, but I, I did a recording last time, uh, The Flight of the Bumblebee. I actually played the whole song and after that, I don't listen to any more technical music uh, because it's, I felt the phase is over. Yeah. The phase is over. Wow. Yeah, for technical stuff. Yeah. Incredible. So, you, so in the best part, I was seeing you play, you know, you're doing your jazz chops, you know, for the, especially for the second song, you know. No, what 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 makes you to jazz? You know what turn you on to jazz? Okay, I used to have a guitar instructor. Yeah, uh, he he's uh, like in, in my poly days. Like yeah, he he's like heavily influenced on jazz. You know, he will only teach me jazz, even though I was a rock guy. Yeah, he doesn't like teach me rock at all because to him rock is like the notes are. He's a very like a very complex type of person. You know, and I I felt like I got a little bit of him. Yeah, but now I'm no I'm no longer under under his care, so it's yeah, it's re- relieving. Uh, it's less pressure. Less yeah. pressure, and then you're able to do you know what you want to do and all that thing. Okay, cool. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. And then uh, and the thing is uh, I think he's a rock guy, you jazz, and then she's you know the violin. You know how you guys mesh together, you know everything, you know all the music influences. Maybe you can. I think I said each of us is very strong, technic- strong uh, yeah. in our own uh, technical yeah. uh, back- music background. Uh, so when we come together, it doesn't take too much time or effort to kind of create something. So um, we can just come with a tune, and after that, second track, second, third track, fourth track, it's all come together. And usually, we just thought that it's come out out of the blue, but it's not. It's like you know, if you play for a long time, it's actually not that hard to sort of, you know, jam together and create something melodiously. So, yeah. Yeah, wow. Cool. Yeah, you think the things on your Facebook page, you write there, you do jazz, you do folk music, then you also do world music. So, wow, that's that's a powerful combination. Normally, it's one band does one genre, but you got three genres. So, <laughs> just imagine it. Okay, so now let's go to our... Uh, but uh, you have a uh, song number three, right? Yeah. So you're going to you want to go to your third song and maybe tell us about your third song. Okay. You the the today? the third song is also like uh, it's called Dragon. Right. Yeah. It, actually, this song is based in Hong Kong. Eh. Okay. Yeah. So actually, was one, some of us here actually went to Hong Kong and oh. got inspired and create the song. Okay. All right. Maybe I should pass the mic to the person. So. It's not kung. It's not kung fu fighting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when I went to Hong Kong, I went hiking at a place called Dragon's Back, and the place just gave me a feeling of freedom. The feeling that you know, after a long hike, you just reach a moment of victory. You know. So mm-hmm. if you hear the song, it sounds very airy, very a uh, lot of triumphant song soundscape. So um, yeah, you you can hear it. And, you know, try to t- try to. Uh, Feel it in the song. Feel it, yeah. We'll yes. feel the song when we play it. It's kind of cool. Third song is from Hong Kong. Second song, Singapore. Actually, so the first song actually was from which? Which way was it based from? Which country? <laughs> Maybe. Pocket Rockets. No, first, first, song, first song was uh, France. 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 First song is France. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So France, Singapore, Hong Kong. All mm-hmm. right. So uh, next, this one. What dragon? <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, you heard it there. Songs based on countries. So this one, this third number named Dragon is based on Hong Kong. And to play for you now for the third time, can you please put your hands for Babushka one more time again.
Okay, cool everyone. That was of course Babushka coming in with that third song named Dragon. All right, guys. Well done. Uh, by the way, uh, welcome back to Soft TV. This is our second segment of the Singer Song Singer Songwriter Series. Sorry, I flew up there. Um, if you just tuned in, I'm Trappist Jango, standing in for Peter Horflitch, who could not be here today. Early on, if you early on, there's a first segment. We had FGL Far It Long with Brian Pereira. This is the second segment, and now we are with in the studio with the band with Babushka, uh, cool band. And I just like to talk to them about uh, anything about uh, their albums, their CDs. Okay, guys. Uh, so have you guys did any CDs or anything? Uh, yes, in fact, we've uh, we've done one EP. Um, it's, EP. Yeah, it's called Flights of Fancy And why we call it um, that is because Well, our music is inspired by travel So uh, we um, <clears throat> Every tune of ours is, is location specific uh, Inspired by our own travels And as well as sometimes the, um, the music of that particular country So we thought it's an um, appropriate name for our EP. Yeah, it's a really cool name and I think I do believe I have the CD here. And it's just right over here. Can 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 it be seen? Is alright? Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Flights of Fancy by Babushka. It's an EP. And uh, cool cover. I love the cover. Just you know, just the just the sky, and, you know, the mountains and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering, where can we get this uh, wonderful EP? Well, at the moment, we're just selling them at our gigs. So <laughs> selling at your gigs, okay? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, not bad. And the uh, thing is, uh, how long do you take to record this uh, this, this CD? Well, um, probably a, a couple of weeks. I mean, like one weekend, we try to to get one one track down. Uh, yeah. Oh, one track down. You didn't do like the you know do it in one night or something, you know? <laughs> rock and roll thing. No, <laughs> just joking. Yeah. Um, well, um, most of the EP was um, was kind of DIY actually. So um, a lot of it was recorded um, on um, at my place, and then you know we kind of of, of mixed it ourselves and. Uh, so you know when when you're doing it outside of a studio, you have the the luxury of time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, right. I understand because when you book a studio, you got to be there on time. You mm -hmm. have to get everything correct, all your mm -hmm. stuff ready, you know, and you'll be paying by the hour. The engineer will be looking at you. You know, mm -hmm. I don't understand anything. And so, so, you took a few weeks to do this. And so, how do you guys uh, record? You record together, or part by part, or until yeah. the recording process. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the interesting thing. Um, even though a lot of our music arises through jamming and improvisation, we actually record track by track. And I would say that that's really a technical limitation, you know, because it's, uh, it's, it's self-recorded. So we don't have that kind of, of um, professional studio space where we can mic up everyone and, and do simultaneous tracking, multi-tracking mm. and so on. So... We try to work around it. Um, the tricky thing about recording one by one is that you know you tr have to try to kind of sustain the energy. When you play as a band, you actually get draw a lot of energy from each other. Mm, quite cool. Yeah. Because I can see just now from the performances, you know, you guys are like drawing each other's and you know drawing on each other all the energy there, and then like mm. and the playing is just so fantastic. I'm I'm sitting here, I'm in awe, looking at you guys like wow. I'm just trying to imagine you guys on concert on stage. 
Uh, I mean, I, I did see a YouTube too of you, which we'll go into that later after the fourth song. We'll talk about your live performances. But, um, okay, you're talking about the... So, I see you that there's only uh, five songs mm -hmm. on this EP. This yeah. is the, of course, it's an EP. It's not a full mm -hmm. album. Um, the song that you're playing today on Soft TV, uh, they, are they going to be on the CD? Uh... What have we played? We've played luxury, of, uh, yeah, but <laughs> I dragon. Okay, I think uh, of of the three of the three tunes of the three tunes that we've we've played three, right? Yeah, yeah of the three <laughs> tunes that we've played, only one is on the is on the EP because um, we did that at the about a year ago, um, a little over a year ago. So, of course, in the interim, we've been writing new material. So we're gonna uh, start working on a second EP soon. Okay, Hopefully. not not a full LP. Well, we could. Just combine the two EPs and uh, <laughs> make it an LP. Yeah, it makes it make a full yeah. LP. So okay, cool. And um, just the next switch. So let's say if the fans want to get this, do you know your gigs? Right, but let's say, do you have any like a Facebook page? Yes, we oh. do. We do. Our um, Facebook page. Um, the the URL is uh, Facebook dot com Babushka World. And so Babushka World is one word. So, and that's the same uh, user name for our other social media accounts. I think you can find us on Bandcamp and uh, yeah, yeah. YouTube as well. Or oh, Spotify. Go. We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting <laughs> there. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, and about the okay, talk about live performances. Uh, where have you guys played? Ah, uh, wow. We we started out. Um, playing a whole bunch of bars and cafes you know so blue jazz no no <laughs> uh, blue jazz artistry you know um the uh the venues that are, are receptive to original music because uh you know in in singapore there are a lot of of, of bars that prefer covers so so whatever um Venues, um, Hood Bar as well at, at Bugis Plus. Uh, the, the venues that are very receptive to original music, um, we've 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 played those places. Yeah, we've we also played one gig in in Kuala Lumpur at the end of I believe it was twenty thirteen. Yeah, and uh, and to launch our EP in February last year, we played at the Esplanade Concourse. Okay, correct. Yeah, that, yeah. And I do believe I, that there's, a U, there's a tube of, I'm sorry, a clip of that, mm -hmm. a clip of that on YouTube. Yeah, yep, there is. And uh, if I'm not wrong, the song is called Mesmerize. Well, okay. Uh, that song actually is, um, it was a collaboration with a friend of ours okay. because uh, that month, Esplanade was doing, having a theme of collaborations. Uh, the theme was come together, you know, after yeah. the Beatles song. Right, so yeah. they were trying to get um, people to to collaborate, um, unlikely collaborations for for their performances at the concourse. So we, we kind of uh, got together with um, a friend of ours by the name of Edmund, Edmund Lee. He does a lot of his own original music as well as a solo artist. He's a solo singer-songwriter. Um, so we kind of, of added to each other's music. Um, there were there were some pieces that we had that you know because we're an instrumental band and he would actually kind of ad lib vocals, you know, okay. over over it and and mesmerize is is actually um, one of Edmund's songs but okay. we came up with a, a a full arrangement around it because he's a solo artist. Okay, yeah. correct. So yeah, because the thing is, because I was trying to find uh, stuff on the on the YouTube and I happened mm -hmm. this 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 song particularly came out it wasn't it was, it was not so bad I loved it um, got a very uh, how would you say a, a, a breezy feel to it I know yeah, I, yeah. I can't really put it down I had to watch it twice so, mm -hmm. it, it was something different for me because see I'm, I'm like you I'm a rock guy mm -hmm. I rock blues mm -hmm. you know I'm slowly getting the jazz and mm -hmm. I also like country. I'm more of a Johnny Cash fan. That's uh, why I wear the, the the man in black hat thing. Nice. So, <laughs> oh, okay. So, so besides Esplanade, where are other places besides Blue Jazz? Any significant events? Any significant place that that stands out? Oh right, yeah. Um, on on um, tenth of May, we'll be doing a full set at Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe, yeah. okay. Well, would, it, would it be the one in Sentosa or the one at uh, in Singapore? The yeah, yeah, the one here. The Cuscaden Road. Yeah, okay, that's right, cool. That's right. And uh, one full set. And yeah, yeah. 
But how many songs would that be? Uh, oh, we'll, we'll probably max out our <laughs> our en- entire catalog, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So and uh, and then will it be uh be the four of you or have your percussionist? Uh, yeah, percussionist is uh, yeah. yeah. He couldn't make it today, but we we do we do have a percussionist. Uh, his yeah. name is Yuga. And, okay. And wow, he's a, he's a wizard on on percussion, man. Yeah, yeah you that's hear cool. Him. It yeah. will it would be nice to have him here today, you know. Mm-hmm. But uh, sadly, as you know, uh, things happen, mm-hmm. and you know. Uh, well, life goes on. <laughs> you got The show must go on, as, mm-hmm. as Freddie Mercury would say. Okay, so um, we're now going to go to the uh, fourth song now, and uh, I think this it's time for the fourth song. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. It's so, your song. Okay, okay. So yeah. So this um, <coughs> this. Uh, fourth song that we're going to play um interestingly it's um it's okay it's it's title it's udan which is which means flight but uh the inspiration for the song actually uh i was um i this song started with um a chord progression that that i came up with uh and how i came up with this chord progression was i was trying to find a way to um a guitar exercise, you know, because sometimes as guitarists, we like to try to find ways to, you know, don't always want to play in the top few frets, you know, want to kind of go up and down the fretboard. And I was trying to f- find something that sounded nice uh, because when, when things sound nice, you're motivated to play it. A lot of, of guitar fretboard exercises, normally they're just like chromatic, ding, 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 and it's kind of boring. So I, I came up with, with uh, something that... Um, I felt, yeah, it was kind of catchy, so I just would en- enjoy playing it on my own. And after a while, I thought, hmm, actually, why not let me just run this by the band and see what we, we make of it. And uh, you're lucky the band liked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. They did, yeah. And yeah. and, and we, we built something around it. Um, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so that's what we're going to play next. Okay, so this yeah. is Udan. Yeah. Udan, what, does it, what does it mean in... Uh, flight, it means flight. In, um, I think what language like, is that? Is it... Is it yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, what what language is it? When we're not sure. Okay. <laughs> we're gentlemen. not sure. A friend, a friend of ours gave the name to the song and okay. and claimed that it means flight. We're not sure. You know, okay, she she could be smoking us. Okay, me could it, be smoking us. It could be something uh, offensive. <laughs> I hope so. Not, I sure <laughs> hope to come. <laughs> that's uh, that's Udon. You mm. mm. Udon, Udon, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah. ladies but and gentlemen. So now we're gonna have the fourth song by Babushka. It's called Udan. <laughs> in God knows what language. <laughs> Take it away, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Babushka. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, everyone. Well done. And that was, of course, the fourth song from Babushka called Udan. Uh, the, the language that we don't know it was uh, what's called fancy or flight, uh, flight of dreams. Okay, okay, well done. Uh, okay, and uh, okay, so now we. What's our next question now? I was told myself forgot. Okay, okay, now um, okay, now every so, any uh, words of advice to any you know, especially the people in internet land, you know about you know forming a band and you know living out your dreams you know or being an artist you know well uh advice i mean if i were to to, to speak from my own experience uh, with with babushka and my my previous bands i would say that you know you have you have to start with the love of music the thing is a lot of bands that don't work out usually they don't work out because they, you know, those people start a band for the sake of forming a band. You know, they 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 want to f to f feel that it's oh, you know, it's it's cool to be in a it's band. Cool so we band. so we form a band. Uh, that that I don't know. I mean, in my own experience, I can't speak for everyone, but that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah know, you know. some people will think you know I, it's cool to be in the band. I look glamorous, you mm. know, I can get girls mm -hmm. and all that thing. I know what you mean. Mm. Yeah, yeah it's got to be about the music first and foremost. And it's, um, I think it it really helps if the, the aim is, at the start, is really just to have fun. Mm. Yeah. Correct, yeah. You know, if, if the aim is to be, um, I don't know, you know, to, to be huge and famous and all that, uh, it can put a lot of unnecessary pressure on, on, on a band. Of course, everyone would like that. Yeah, but I think um, yeah, you know, just just when it's about fun and and it's it's very easy to achieve that, and when you achieve that, it feels great. Yeah, it's yeah. quite true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe we can have uh, Olivia's input on this subject, this tricky subject. <laughs> or maybe. Or, 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 yeah. 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 Hmm. Maybe she can. Any advice for people in internet land? Let me see. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm still very new to this to this band, but okay. um, I had a I have another band in France. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, the way I have met these people have has always been through um, you know, um, my love for music. I don't know. You know, I just love playing the violin so much. And um, when you love something, you just automatically find people who um, love to do what you do. So I guess that's my advice to. Um, do what you love <laughs> and find other people who, you know, also love what you do. Yeah, what thank you. you. Do. <laughs> okay, Miss Sophia. Yeah, I think um, the advice that... Okay. So, I think uh, one thing that I actually been thinking about is really to keep performing, right? So we can just practice as much as we like in the garage or in the studio, but without performing, we cannot polish and, you know, we cannot roll a song out and test it with the audience and see if they like it. Um, so the only way to know if this song works or not is to play it to the audience. Like sometimes we write a song, three days later we perform. For example, Louv was a song that was written like three days before it was actually played. So I think just, just roll it out, just play it uh, and see if everybody like it and keep performing, and keep performing, getting more gigs as possible as a way to practice. Um, yeah, so that would be my advice. Mr. Fazio. Okay, advice? Uh, advice, actually, I don't really have much advice. To me, it's, it comes naturally that I, I love music, like 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 all my bandmates here. We just, we just so it's, the constant is just, we love playing music, you know, whether we are famous or we are not famous, we make a lot of money or not. It's just that the, the, the main denominator is that we, we just love music, so we, we, don't, we don't care about anything else. We just want to play. We want to be exposed more. Yeah, we like to play in a lot of places. Uh, that, that hopefully, in someday, you know, in Singapore and overseas as well. Yeah. So that's all. Just love what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. So my my next question uh, would be also like, well, how do you see Babushka in the year twenty fifteen? You know, more gigs. You know, you know. So we go back to Don here, yeah. spokesman. <laughs> Okay, so the, the, the first thing is we'll be working on our second EP. Well, we haven't decided yet whether or not it will be a second EP or you know, we'll, we'll maybe we might re-record some of the tracks on the first EP and then combine it with our new songs and make a, a full LP. Um, 
And yeah, you know, we're just we're just going to keep on trying to um, to find gigs, you know, get our music out there, and uh, yeah, you know, and and I mean, this is soft TV is one great way of doing that. Yeah, so so we're really happy to be here. Yeah, this is a great platform for aspiring single songwriters to you know, get their voices, you know, and, and songs out into the open. And thanks for having us, even though we yeah. don't have any singers in this band. Yeah, <laughs> that, 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 that's the, that goes to my next question. I mean, uh, you guys are instrumentalist band, but uh, would you guys, you know, you know, in the near future, you know, get a singer in, and maybe do mm. a, a song? I mean. Not do, not do instrumental band just mm. have some songs where the guy is singing you know. actually actually we've already done that we've done that twice uh, one is well that, that Esplanade performance with, with Edmund you know he kind of ad-libbed over some of our songs and actually the, the song that we just played Udan initially we wrote it with um, with a vocalist uh, so so she actually came up with some some lyrics um, for the tune uh, and, and we recorded that but the tricky thing is we can't always perform with her because I mean she's she's you know she has her own commitments. Uh, she's she's not a band member. She's just a one-time collaborator. So we decided to rearrange the song and and continue playing it instrumentally. But but we have we have explored that. Yeah. But would you you know uh, explore the possibility of getting a singer, a permanent singer, to be in mm, your band? Well, I at at. In the short run, no. Short I think, run. yeah, I, I think uh, the fact that we're an instrumental band makes us pretty unique. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, that's quite true. Pretty yeah. unique because um, I want to ask you, is it hard for you to get gigs because you have no singer? <laughs> Um, I think so far we've been doing okay. We've been doing okay. Uh, I I can't say for sure whether or not we'd definitely be getting more gigs if we had a singer. Maybe if we had a very young, attractive singer. Yeah, yeah you know yeah, that yeah. that always helps. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's a word for it. Uh, it's called eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I understand how you guys go through. Okay. And uh, all right. So um, so we've really done four songs already. So now. I think uh, we we can. I think we can time to do the the last song, mm. the fifth song, and who's who's the one who wrote this song and who's going to introduce this? This one, one is Falzo's baby, so I'll pass okay. the mic to him. Okay. Okay. The the last song is is actually is okay. It's based in Spain. Yeah. Some of us been to Spain. I I haven't been there before, but somehow I was I I met a friend of mine, a, a Spanish guy. He came to Singapore and like teach me some Spanish songs. So I was like, wow, why don't we do a Spanish song? And yeah, so yeah, just, just do a Spanish song. And it kind of like, it doesn't take a lot of time to do as well. Like, yeah, with, with this band here, you know, we, we kind of write it in like less than five minutes as well, I suppose. Yeah. Is, is I, this like the uh, first song you wrote in five minutes? I guess most of our songs we wrote in five minutes, oh. you know. <laughs> or maybe less than that. It's less just like one that. take, yeah. Oh. yeah. But for the, the unique thing about this song, right, it's like the form is always fixed while the rest of the songs, like, it keep on changes. You know, it keep on changes, like improvised. For this song, it's like most of the parts are not improvised at all. Okay. Yeah, so we kind of fix to that part somehow. Yeah. So you fix to, to that structure, la, so you don't uh, get most times to move around. And improvise. Uh, yeah, most of that. Yeah, it, almost no way to improvise this song. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. this your this is your, gonna be a classic Spanish, Spanish song, right? I guess it's yeah, it's it's Span- song. Yeah. Yeah, it's inspired by Spanish. Uh, like all our songs are world music. Uh, so we are a world music band. Yeah, so all our songs yeah. are based on different countries that we've been to. Yeah, and this song is based in Spain. Yeah, and we. I can't play flamenco style. I, I did not have any training on flamenco. Okay. But yeah, this is something that I try to play my style of flamenco, which is not flamenco at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's flamenco, but it's not flamenco. <laughs> all right. So, all right. So, for the viewers in uh, internet land, Safi Lin, can you please t- tell me what's the name of the song? Okay. Then the song is actually okay. It's it's okay. It's called Pocket Rocket. Yeah, I mean, pocket if you rock. don't know what Pocket Rocket is, just Google Pocket Rocket. Yeah, then you'll find out. You just see the image of Pocket Rocket. Oh. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> all right, so... All right, Soft TV Land, get ready for the fifth song, going to be done by Babushka. And the name of the song is called Pocket Rocket. All right, take it away, guys. Thank you. 
Excellent. Whoa. Incredible. I just, you guys just blew me. And that was your Spanish song. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a Spanish song, a flamenco, but not flamenco style, uh, Pocket Rocket from the band Babushka. Okay, now it seems that we uh, come to the end of our segment, which is the uh, soft TV segment for uh, the segment, which is Babushka. But before we end this uh, end this uh, end this program, we like to give uh, Babushka. If we just trying to have a shout out to anyone in Internet Land, you know, to the fans. Yeah, I mean, plug the Facebook. But you know, it'd be great if you guys could, you know, say a few yeah. words. Well, um, I think we we've been around for two years, but that's still pretty young as far as, uh, as, as bands go. So we're really, really grateful to, to everyone who's attended our gigs, um, everyone who's, um, uh, who's, who's bought our, our EPs and you know, uh, given uh, positive uh, feedback to us. And that, that means a lot for, for, for bands starting out. So um, yeah, you know, thanks. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone who has, who has seen our videos and, and liked our Facebook page. Yeah, which is again facebook.com slash babushka world, one word. One word. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Maybe you can uh, give it to Olivia, you know? Oh, okay. Well, um, well, would like to thank too. Um, it's everyone who's supporting our music coming to our gigs. Uh, also, people who are watching uh, Soft TV, uh, which is uh, listen, uh, people who are listening to our music and hopefully will come to our future gigs. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, I'd like to thank like everyone, everyone that inspires me, and yeah, these these guys are the the best guys that I've ever worked with. Like you know, and it it takes very little effort to to play with them, to write songs with them. Yeah, and these guys are the best. Yeah, and of course, all the like people, all the fans, and people who came to us like and they like us and they want our CDs and they want our CDs to be autographed and stuff like that. Yeah, we we are very touched by all those. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and we are very happy to. To perf- to play more and more again and to write more music for the people and we and they are like and we're gonna travel more and hopefully write more music about different different countries yeah, yeah right. that's that's it you actually why you're known as the world music man because you travel to places and then you make the songs from the places that you visited oh cool awesome all right well I like to just uh, say a very big thank you to you guys Babushka for coming down here uh, Don, Olivia, Sophia and Fauzio for actually coming down here but, you know for uh, thank you so much for coming on Soft TV greatly so we'd like to again once again just show the al- uh, EP it's called Babushka Flights of Fancy you can uh, get it from the band or maybe you can go to their Facebook page and check it out and also like they said early on on May 10th they have a uh, gig at Hot Rock Cafe what's the time they're you playing? it's around 8.30 so make sure and check out this wonderful band that plays great world music alright looks like it's uh, time to end our program and I'd like to say uh, thanks to a lot of people, especially to James Wu and his wife. And uh, especially like to thank uh, the the artists per- the performing, the performing artists, which would be Brian Perrault and Babushka. I'd like to thank um, also a very good guy, Mr. Far FGL Long, for getting me into host <laughs> host for today's segment. All right, this is uh, Trappers Django signing off and saying until the next soft uh, series edition. Adios. See you around.